make it easy for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me break it Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about rediscovering lockdown luxury. Like many of you, I did a little bit of shopping during lockdown and now that we're out of lockdown, at least here in the UK, we've definitely been going out a lot more, but I found that I still often gravitate towards my fail safe pieces. And often I find when I'm not using something as much as I'd like, it's often because I don't really know what to pair with it. So I thought I would do this video really challenging myself to style each piece with two to three different outfit options that I would realistically wear, hopefully to give myself some inspiration, but also hopefully to give you guys some inspiration as well, if you also have these pieces or if you have something similar in your wardrobe. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. This video is kindly being sponsored by Farfetch, who I have worked with many times before now, and I know so many of you already shop with them and love them. They are a go-to for me for luxury just because of how vast their selection is. Because you are shopping from boutiques all around the world when you're shopping from Farfetch, the stock selection is just insane. Anytime I search for anything, I just get pages and pages of items, and it's always just such a great shopping experience because you can find pretty much everything in terms of luxury items. Everything that I'm featuring here today is available from Farfetch, so I will include links to everything in the description section if you did want to check anything out. I do also have a discount code with them as well, so you can get 10% off your purchase. There are some T's and C's. It is only available for new customers. I will put the code on screen, but I'll also put the code and all the details and T's and C's in the description section. So many amazing items are included. The vast majority of the items I'm including in this video are also included, including Saint Laurent, there's Jean Vito Rossi, Mulberry, just so many amazing brands and items. So I will include all details for that discount code in the description section if you did want to check anything out. So I have six items here in total, four are kind of proper lockdown purchases and two are slightly newer to my wardrobe, but these are direct replacements for some items that I have parted away with recently, which I'll also cover in the video. So first up is my Bottega Veneta mini Jolie bag and this has been high on my list of bags which I am so aware of and I definitely want to get more use out of and this is the classic example for me of a style which I love objectively but because it's a little bit different from what I usually go for, it's a little bit different from my usual style, it hasn't been a bag that I've gravitated towards just because it's a bit more out there and I don't have go-to outfit combinations for it. It is a mini top handle as well so again not a style that I would traditionally go for. I love the look of it though and I love how easy it is to hold. It is really, really fun. The color is really neutral and I have often found that if you are going for a style which is perhaps a little bit more out of your comfort zone, going for a really neutral color which you already know you wear a lot is always a much better option just because it's going to eliminate one of those barriers to you incorporating it into your outfits. You know, if it's a slightly wacky style, if it's a bit more out there than what you'd usually go Go for and it's a crazy color you're really going to find it a challenge to kind of really incorporate into a lot of daily outfits whereas even though this style is a little bit more out there for me the color really does help so i'm going to style this up in again two to three different ways and i really want to focus in on outfits that i'm reasonably going to wear as opposed to kind of fantasy life outfits which you know may look cute in a selfie but you're essentially never going to have any place to wear those outfits Okay, so first up I have my Bottega Mini Jody and I've teamed it with a really simple white t-shirt and a pleated skirt. A pleated skirt is always such a go-to for me and I wear them with everything from flat sandals as I have on here, along with high heels as well. I just love them and find them so easy to throw on and pair with anything from, you know, t-shirts and camis in the summer to sweaters in the winter. 
I love the fact this is a really close color match as well. Really inexpensive skirt, but it is, you know, a fairly good match for the Bottega Mini Jody. So very, very easy to pair and just a really nice kind of simple casual option. I also have here a slightly more dressy option as well with some high heel sandals. I actually wore this outfit combo the other day with my new Fendi bag. I really liked it as well. So I just replicated it here. The cami does make the whole look just a little bit more dressy and obviously the heels help as well. And again, the colorway just really helps to kind of match with that Bottega Mini Jody. I also wanted to go for a slightly more structured option though, because I do like my tailoring even in summer. And obviously this look can really transition into, you know, fall and winter as well. If you just wanted to team it with kind of longer bottoms here, I just have on a tailored pair of shorts and then, you know, white cami, white blazer. I actually think that even though the mini Jody isn't a super structured bag, I kind of like the juxtaposition of the slouchiness of the bag and the overall structured look. I teamed it with heels here, but you can wear this look with sandals as well. I've done so many times myself before. And then for this look, I just went with a pair of faux leather leggings and I have done a fair bit more than two to three looks for each item. I got a bit carried away, but I had a lot of fun styling all of these up. So here I just went with a cami, but this one wasn't tucked in. So the same cami as before, but a bit looser, a white blazer, my faux leather leggings, high heels and bag. And again, I like the fact that even though it's a slouchy style, it does kind of still work with those tailored more sharper looking pieces. And then finally, this outfit wasn't planned, but I was teaming it with some other items and I actually thought that the bag would go perfectly. And I do like the look of it. Very kind of autumn vibes that, you know, the colorway with the camel and then the kind of silkier skirt, but I actually really like the look of this as well. Next up are a pair of shoes, and these are a newer pair of shoes to my wardrobe. As I mentioned, I did a little bit of a clear out recently, and this is a kind of replacement purchase. I wanted to really focus in on items which, again, I'm just gonna know that I'm gonna use a lot more rather than overly special occasion pieces, which, you know, obviously there's been a pandemic, but I also think just the way my life has gone, I've definitely gone out to kind of less fancy events and occasions than I used to. And so those pieces just, you know, they look cute on the shelf, but they just gather dust. So I really wanna try and adapt my wardrobe more to be practical and useful for my daily life now. And um, so these are from Jean Vito Rossi, which are pretty much my favorite all time luxury shoe brand, just because they are so comfortable, so beautifully made and just incredibly classic. I don't know how many pairs I have, but it's a few now. I always tend to go for the same style from them. Um, again, it's a fail safe option. I thought these were so, so beautiful. So these are the classic pointy toe pumps. I am gonna unwrap them properly so you can actually see. So here they are and it's a beautiful shaped shoe. Um, this one is actually the first style I have in this heel height. Usually I will go for the very high heels and I would say if you did want a high heel then Jean Vito Rossi are still a great shout because of how comfortable they are. They're still a go-to kind of wedding shoe choice for me because I know I can last all night. They're still not like slippers but they're definitely far more comfortable than say the boutons. Um, but I really wanted something that was just a little bit lower that was still very much a high heel, but was a bit more wearable and walkable for, you know, just an evening out where I wasn't getting, you know, super, super crazy dressed up. I still wanted a heel for that added height boost. I thought this was perfect. I believe this is the 85 mil. I also wanted something just very, very neutral that would be able to go with everything from dresses to denim. Love this colorway. They always do a whole bunch of neutrals as well. I always feel like Jean Vito Rossi are really good at just doing those classic shoes which you will just have in your wardrobe forever and you'll just constantly rely on. The ones that I already have are just some of my most worn heels in my wardrobe because they are just so comfortable and they look so good every single time and I'm just super excited about these. So this was definitely a bit of a hole in my wardrobe in terms of a mid-heel neutral pump. Really, really glad that I filled it now. I did go for the suede. Suede is a go-to for me when it comes to these kind of pumps because it really does mold your feet. So it's gonna be much more comfortable than patent leather. If you're concerned about kind of wearing the suede out, I just spray mine with Colonel Pro or Scotchgard and they do absolutely fine. It makes it instantly waterproof and much less susceptible to kind of marks and scuffs and anything like that. 
I've had my other heels for years and they still look really great because I did take the time to spray them. So we'd definitely recommend if you're concerned about the suede, but I absolutely love these and I just think they are going to be the most useful, useful pair and probably the easiest styling challenge of this entire video because I just know a good neutral pair of pumps go with everything. My Jean Vito Rossi heels, I knew I would just love these, you know, they're just such a great neutral and all of the looks here I've kind of repeated throughout the video because I found these are just such an easy one to grab. I think they look really great just with some skinny jeans right here, you know, they are, it is a nude, it's slightly darker than kind of my skin color, but I think it's just a really, really pretty shade, like really lovely. I have them on here with a pair of faux leather leggings. I think they work with denim, as I mentioned before, just a really nice kind of go with anything style with a really manageable heel height as well. And then for my last look within the shoes, I do have on my Zimmerman dress. You will see the shoes throughout the video though because they were one of the styles which I just kind of grabbed for everything because they did go with absolutely everything. Really nice heel height and just a really nice neutral option. Next up is my Valentino clutch and this is another one that was really high on my list of bags which I was very aware of. I was still really excited about but I knew that I wasn't getting enough use out of it. I actually used this the other day for my birthday dinner so I just went out for dinner with Dan and my mum in the city and I used this with just a little black dress and I loved it so I'm really really happy that I got that use in but I want to use it way more because I've only ever used this as a clutch and I know it has multiple uses. They do give you a strap with it as well. So I wanna be wearing it as a shoulder bag, a crossbody, also more as a clutch. It is a really beautiful design. So you do have this clasp right here and then it just opens up like so. And then you have just a wide open space and one pocket at the back and just a beautiful bag. Like I really, really loved how easy it was to get in and out of, but it still felt very, very secure. I really like the kind of nude tone on nude leather. It does make a statement because the V is, you know, quite impactful, but because it is the same tone, it just feels like a little bit more subtle. You do have that flash of gold when you turn it as well, which I also really like. And I just think it's stunning. Obviously, you know, again, a nude color, so very easy to style, but because it is a clutch, it hasn't been one that I've automatically grabbed a lot. So looking forward to styling this more, was really, really happy with it the other day though. I thought it was just beautiful. It felt quite special as well, but not so crazy delicate that I worried about it and just the most lovely clutch. So for my Valentino bag, I really wanted to do both kind of casual and dressy looks. So the first one is obviously very casual. This is a look I've worn before. It's just a simple oversized white t-shirt. You can wear it tucked or untucked. My faux leather leggings, which you've seen several times in this video already, as well as some plain white sneakers. And I really like this look. You know, it's easy to throw on. You can also transition it for the colder months with a simple coat on top. I actually surprisingly like the Valentino clutch kind of dress down. Obviously I'm wearing its crossbody, but I really like the overall vibe. I then kind of carried this through to this dress. So this has been one of my go-to summer dresses. It's just so easy to throw on. It's from And Other Stories and just so comfortable and cute. And I actually really like wearing it with the leather strap on the bag. I just think it makes it look a little bit more casual and just gives it a totally different vibe. Almost like a kind of holiday-esque bag, even though it's still a very, very fast fancy one obviously so I was actually really pleasantly surprised and I think I am going to wear it more like this and it does just give it a completely different look I think. I also wanted to show it to you completely dressed up. So this is actually how I wore it for my birthday. This is my complete birthday outfit. I have on this little black dress and I teamed it with some nude pumps and then I just went for a nude bag because I wanted to keep my accessories really neutral and I loved it. I loved the kind of nude on nude tone. It still felt like a really kind of dressy and special bag, but it was so easy just to grab because it was that wonderfully neutral color. Next up is my Marlboro Mini Alexa. And to be fair, this is definitely my most used bag out of everything that I'm talking about here today. When I first got this, I used it a ton and I did use it fairly consistently all the way throughout winter, even though we're on lockdown. And that's because I do think it's a really good kind of day to evening style from smart to casual. It's really versatile. So even though we weren't going anywhere fancy during lockdown, like literally and running and to the grocery store, I still got a lot of use out of it. 
Now that we've been out of lockdown though, I have found that I haven't used this quite as much. So I do wanna kind of pair it with some new outfits, especially some newer pieces that I'm excited to wear. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm dressing kind of post lockdown. I've been using a lot of my more dressy pieces when we've been out and about, but it is just a strange thing kind of being out of lockdown after being in so long. It all just feels really new and some of my go-to outfit combinations before perhaps don't feel as relevant now. So I wanna challenge myself to style this up. Um, definitely, as I said, one of my more used pieces. I absolutely adore this bag. If you guys watch my haul video the other week, you'll know because I got the chestnut version, but a huge fan of this and I just wanna make sure that I'm using it as much as possible because it is such a great style. As a little reminder as well, you can use the discount code of this bag and all Mulberry items, and that's everything from their SLG, so their amazing wallets, right through to their bags. They have a lot of Alexas in stock. They have a whole range of them now, and I pretty much love all of them, and you can use the discount code of the whole Mulberry line. For my mulberry, I wanted to go for some summertime looks all the way through to kind of autumn winter as well. So here I have a shorts and cami combo, the same as what you saw before, but this is another go-to combo for me. I really like how the mulberry looks, so even though it's a bit more of a kind of satchel style, so something you might usually consider to be a bit more casual, I do think it still works with more tailored kind of dressy pieces. I've dressed this look down um, with just some flat sandals, so it's not as dressy as with heels, but obviously Obviously you could pair it with heels as well and I really really love the look of it. And then I wanted to go a bit more dressy for my next two looks. So I teamed it with two new dresses that I got in and I actually really love the look of it, just a bit more dressed up. I took the longer strap off because I do think that makes it look a little bit more casual. So just as a little top handle, I think it's adorable. You know, it's a really kind of petite size, even though it can fit in a decent amount. And I love the fact that it vibes both with kind of more summer dresses and more autumn dresses. I just really liked the overall effect and how it still was able to kind of blend in even with more dressier looks. And then for my last outfit, I wanted to go for a bit more of a casual one that's good for every day. So I wore this exact outfit last winter and it was just so easy to throw on. Again, faux leather leggings and my black sweater camel coat, some sneakers, and then just my bag slung over as a crossbody. I wore this, you know, shopping. I think I wore it to Costco, just a really easy one, very, very comfortable, but still a little bit pulled together. Next up are my Jimmy Choo Bing heels and similar to my kind of Valentino clutch and also my Bottega bag, this has been very front of mind for me in terms of really wanting to make sure that I wear and use these more because I love the pieces so much. You know, I look at them and think, gosh, you know, such a beautiful piece, I need to use it more. But because I don't have those go-to outfits, it's not always something that I reach for and I'm pretty much always in a rush. You know, we're always, always busy and even though we have things planned, I don't always plan and my outfits in advance, so usually it's 30 minutes before we have to go out, I'm in a panic and I'll just grab something from my wardrobe that I know works with accessories that I know match and then just rush out the door. So it's so important to me to kind of try and have outfits in the bag or in the bank, so to speak, so I can just grab them at a moment's notice. So hopefully this video will help that and also help you as well if you also find the same thing. And these shoes are definitely one that I wanna not only incorporate into some of those more dressy outfits because it is more of a statement shoe I find that it doesn't go with absolutely everything but when it does I feel like it's absolutely worth the extra styling effort but I also want to pair it more with slightly more casual pieces where they're just a little bit more dressed up with the shoe. I really wanted to experiment with the Jimmy Choo's and team it with both patterned items and more plain items. I didn't think I'd like it very much with this patterned dress, but it was actually kind of surprising to me. I kind of liked the busyness of it, I guess. Not something I would usually go for, but I was definitely pleasantly surprised. The next look I went for, very, very simple, you know, a simple black bias cut skirt with a simple crew neck, you know, very, very easy basics to throw on. And then just made a bit more special with these sparkly shoes and they definitely add an element of just sparkle and just specialness to an otherwise fairly simple outfit. But I do like how the different textures kind of go together with, you know, the cashmere and the silky skirt and the patent leather and a little bit of sparkle as well. 
And then this was a last minute try on, but I actually really love the way this looks. So I just teamed these with my birthday dress and I'm kind of kicking myself for not wearing these out because, you know, this is kind of the perfect birthday shoe and I actually really love how the whole thing looked. They are just so special looking. I thought the combination really worked, especially with the longer dressing. I think it always just really puts the focus on the shoes and I love that. And then for my last look, I wanted to pair these with denim to make them a bit more wearable for every day. I tried these on with skinny denim, but I didn't think they worked as well. So I grabbed a pair of my straight leg jeans, which I don't wear all that often, but I was actually pleasantly surprised and I really loved the way it looked. I kept it really simple with just a simple black tank top, straight leg jeans, and then teamed it with my Valentino clutch just to kind of keep the colors neutral for the accessories and I really liked it. So really happy with this combo. I do think I'm gonna try and wear this one out and incorporate the shoes more into slightly more casual outfits. And then finally, I have a new install here, and this is actually kind of a replacement in two ways. So a replacement for a bag that I recently parted ways with, and also one that I don't own. I'm gonna explain after I show the bag, um, but it's from Saint Laurent, and this one's been on my wish list for a while, so I'm very, very excited about it. It's this beautiful Saint Laurent Lulu puffer, and this is in, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna say this correctly because I've never actually said the word out loud before, but Boucle. Uh, it's basically the tweed like fabric. Uh, they do this in the white as well. I wanted the black because I thought the white fabric might be a bit too high maintenance. I've wanted this though ever since I saw it. I think it is beautiful. I recently parted ways with my Saint Laurent Navy Lulu and that was purely because I knew I wanted to get this and I wanna try and avoid having too many overly similar styles in my collection or at least limit it as much as I can. And the other style, and I've mentioned this I think a few times over the years that being on my wish list to have a Chanel tweed flat for so, so long. I love those designs. I think they're so beautiful and I I never pulled the trigger because I found it just a little bit more hard to justify. It being fabric, I wasn't sure how they would wear and I just didn't think they were as good value for money or if that's even a thing with Chanel um, as the leather versions. It always just felt very expensive to me to pay that much money for a fabric bag. And of course, over the years, that's gotten much worse, not better, because the price increases have been so incredibly crazy. So I definitely feel like I missed the boat with that, even though I love the style. If I couldn't justify the price like two or three years ago, I really can't justify the price of it now. But I feel like this has like all the elements that I wanted with that kind of bag. And I just love it. And obviously, you know, this is still a very, very luxurious style, but it's so much cheaper than a Chanel flap and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. So I wanted to include this one in this video because I'm so excited about it. I've never had a tweed-like bag before though, so I wanna get some styling options in there right off the bat, so I make sure that I use this a ton. It is so stunning though. This is the small size or kind of the equivalent, so. On the inside, you do have a fabric lining. It's not overly heavy, but you do also have um, leather kind of parts as well. So the flap is leather and then it converts into a fabric lining on the bottom bit. You do have the zipper right there. And apart from that, you know, it's just a very simple design. You can wear this both on the shoulder, kind of doubled up and also single. You can do it cross body if you want to, depending on your size preference. And I just think this is so beautiful and classic looking. I feel like Saint Laurent just nailed this in terms of really lovely looking classic bags, which I do think they stand the test of time, but they aren't like crazy, crazy Chanel level pricing. And I am just over the moon excited with this. So excited to start this up and get so much use out of it. But I thought this was just so beautiful. And best of all, you can use the 10% discount code off this bag and also all Saint Laurent as well. One of the few times you can actually get a discount off Saint Laurent these days. They are, because I guess they're so popular, they're just so difficult to find at a discount. And you can use my discount code on this bag and all other Saint Laurent styles, including their regular Lulu line, including their wallet on chains, just so many beautiful options.
And then finally my Saint Laurent bag and I had a lot of fun trying on different outfits with this, especially kind of a customizing myself to more of a textured bag. I don't have too many like overly textured bags. Most of mine are leather. So it was definitely trial and error in terms of what I thought this looked good with. I teamed it with everything from, you know, a simple black top and blazer with some jeans, really easy to pair and kind of a go-to outfit for easing me into a new style just because it's gonna go with absolutely anything but I also wanted to push the boat out a little bit more and try it with different textures and color combinations so I tried it with this short camel coat and I actually really liked it I teamed that with my faux leather leggings and then my Jean Vito Rossi pumps and with all the different textures I actually thought it was really pretty really really nice for autumn as well and I thought the difference in fabric actually really worked and then carrying on from that I decided to last minute team the bag with this look that I put together for my other accessories and I really like this one as well. I kept on my Jean Vito Rossi pumps, just added the bag and I thought it was a really nice option. Again, went really nice with sweaters. So I'm actually really excited to team this with all of my autumn sweaters and just a really, really lovely style. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. As usual, I will include links to everything I featured in the description section below. I will also pop in all the details for that discount code if you did wanna check it out. If you have any other questions for me, then leave me a comment. And if you enjoyed the video, please do give this a thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.